It's a lot harder paving a road where there is no road, rather than going down a path that's already been driven by someone else. The scientific strength you need to do that, and the personal power of conviction that this will eventually be better for patients, is something that very few companies have. And that's been at Sato Kinetics right from the beginning, and it's still here 25 years later. I was happily working as an academic in my lab at Stanford. Wasn't thinking about biotech at all. Nobody was doing anything with regard to the cytoskeleton. So I called up Ron Vale and said, you know, I don't think anybody else is gonna start a company based on the cytoskeleton. And he said, I completely agree. I've been independently been talking to a friend of his, Larry Goldstein at Harvard. So he said, well, why don't the three of us get together? It was exciting, and it was also clear we were utter novices, and so we needed a fourth, and that was James Aubrey. We used to meet in the, in the United Lounges. Now, back then, the United Lounge was called the Red Carpet Club, so we used to call it the Club Rouge. Larry would fly up from San Diego. The way we respected one another and worked well as a team became the culture of the company. We were given a nickname by our first investor, the Four Amigos. I remember the first day I met the four amigos, and I remember seeing the camaraderie. There was a, a love amongst brothers, if you will. They had the same ambitions, aspirations, and I knew I wanted to be part of it. I was on the precipice of beginning an academic career, but um, after having lunch with Ron, you know, sort of decided to explore joining Cytokinetics really as it's at its inception, and I think he was a little surprised. And very soon, in a couple of weeks, we had a handshake deal, and I became the first employee at Cytokinetics. The name is an interesting one. The venture capitalist said, my best companies all start with the letter C. And it was Larry Goldstein who came up with the idea of calling it Cytokinetics, and that stuck. Our ideas were being transformed into reality in, in front of us. It was remarkable. The original mission was fairly bold, understand the biology of the cytoskeleton so well that we could create a whole new class of drugs that drug the cytoskeleton in a sophisticated way because of the centrality of these proteins and how they work. Those first few years were extraordinarily productive, fun. Early days, we grabbed a lot of furniture out of dumpsters and we borrowed and begged from, from people we knew, um, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't fancy to be sure. And of course, it was totally exciting because we were setting up labs that had no pipettes or any instrumentation and getting things going from scratch. And one of the mitotic kinesins we screened could be activated rather than inhibited. I remember them coming in and I said, yeah, I think that could work. And then of course, Brad came in and said, you're nuts. And he walked out of my office. And two days later, he comes back into my office and says, I still think it's nuts, but I think we can do it. So that was kind of the initial aha moment. I think we've been able to pioneer an area that nobody else has. The patient is the start of everything we think about. And then think about the molecule next. You can't do it the other way around. If you do it the other way around, you will misfire. It's like a bridge that doesn't meet the endpoint. The patient is our North Star approach is the thing that makes it easier to do this work. This is not just a job, I have a mission. If you're driven by a sense of mission, if you think that what you're doing is gonna make a difference, boy, that feels good. We bring patients to our company. We know their families. We know their caregivers. We know their stories. The number one reason I stay here is the people. Love the people that I work here. It's a great group of super smart people. We do have a lot of fun together. Cytokinetics in one word, devotion. Heart. Special. Excitement. Innovation. Driven. Motion. Purpose. Visionary. It's hard to believe that we've been doing this for 25 years. It's a major milestone and certainly something to celebrate. As many extraordinarily wonderful memories as I've had, the best memory is still to come when that first patient receives our first medicine. Our path here at Cytokinetics is an allegory for life. I mean, you have the things you celebrate, you have the things that you mourn, you develop friendships and families along the way, and I think that's what makes it special.